Hello everyone, we're getting started with a reading that was requested by someone in the comments section. And the request was made for having a reading to tell or share with you what is your best course of action in terms of helping an, a lover, person of interest with whom you're interacting with directly, um, to open their emotions and to share them and to express them more. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. The 2022 overviews for the year, predictions for the year, are posted. So I encourage you to take a look. They've always been something that I've had good feedback on at the end of the next year. So that's cool. All right, so the situation. Oh, well, this makes perfect sense. Four of Swords, you're feeling, you know, if you want a lover to express something to you, you're feeling worn out, you're feeling tired, you're feeling as though you're giving more than you should. And it is, you know, it's a card of healing. It's a card of taking a break. So that's the suggestion is also to lean back in the relationship. The Seven of Swords energy also is telling us that things may not be as they appear. So the Seven of Swords is a tricky dick card. And so I feel like you're being very motivated for this person to tell you how they feel because you're very worried that they are pulling the wool over your eyes. So and, and that that feels very wounding. So again, I really like comments. It really helps me, even though it's a general reading, it helps me really focus on what it means to you. We have the Six of Wands. So, you know, it makes sense. You're coming to the reading because you want a victory. In the recent past, the King of Swords, you have someone who's very involved, very engaged with you. The King of Swords is Aquarius energy. It's very stable energy. When we get the Seven of Swords, that is also Aquarius energy. But again, it's very aloof energy. So your person, you're viewing things from a higher perspective. You're trying to stay cool, calm, and collected in the recent past. But you don't like the coldness of the energy. You really want to, to get a bird's eye view of what's going on in this relationship. The Ten of Swords energy speaks to the fact that you're feeling possibly betrayed so whoever you know or whatever energy brings you into this reading the motivation for wanting your person to express more is because you feel if they don't that there's something else going on and it's not going to be healthy for you it's not a good situation the ace of swords is you know you want clarity so that's a lot about you so what we're seeing here is that when we get the ten of swords we're seeing that you really need to um, end this sort of, I would almost say doubt or self torture because the 10 of swords here is you just, you know, you might not be seeing things realistically. I feel as though you're seeking truth so that you know whether you should be heard or not. But the energy is that just allow that which you do not know to be an awareness, not making assumptions. This speaks to me very clearly that you've been, you've had bad relationships, that you're healing, that you're wounded, because Ten of Swords is being very wounded to the point of, and to the description as one of the tarot reader makes. I love her, Gemstone Tarot. Go over and take a look. She's British. She talks about you know, the Ten Swords it made the person very dead. <laughs> so it really speaks to the fact that you, you have a lot of fear. And so spirit in their wisdom is telling you to be like a detective. Take a bird's eye view. Be more detached. You have been at times. And be peaceful with your clarity because you can trust yourself. You don't have to worry about what the other person is doing because you have the key to the truth. So in terms of what they're doing, we do get, oh, I like this for you. It really speaks to the fact that good communication and being very down to earth is your best course of action. It's a magician energy, being charming, being funny, you know, teasing the person, um, you know, being witty because Gemini tends to be very witty, very fast, uh, but also just sort of grounding your person and helping them understand 
the magic between the two of you, and it does look like there's a great deal of chemistry, is something very special and that you're, you're just having fun. You're liking how this is unfolding. Um, and, you know, but also, too, it does show them holding back four of coins. They value you. That's very much the energy of um, Capricorn. And Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is aloof. And Saturn tends to be a very paternalistic energy. So your person may have grown up feeling as though the definition of who they are is somebody who is very stoic. So I don't see that as a person who's cheating. I see the two of you are in a very good relationship. And I do see them holding back, so it makes sense. So we're going to clarify these, of course, for you. So we get the energy of the strength card. What's hidden in their energy is that they care about you very much. Uh, they physically show you their affection. You can see the lion. The number eight is the infinity symbol. So I feel like you've shared multiple lives with this person. Um, they're leaning into you. This is you. This is them. So they do have a lot of sort of lion-hearted courage. Remember, if you look at the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> the, the lion asks for a heart to have courage. So this person has very strong feelings for you. The strength card couldn't possibly be a better card that signifies how they feel. And let's see what your outcome card is for your advice. Six of Cups. Being very sweet, being very patient. Your person is healing from something. And so you just being in the energy of sweetness, kindness, loving, practical, down to earth, witty, funny. It really will encourage them to come out of their shell. So I wouldn't really have a highly direct sort of any sort of confrontational interaction with them I would help them I would help them remind them or help them remember that you know what makes the relationship so special is the fact that you have all of these common bonds that you have uh, you you have fun with this person that you feel like you you know both of you can count on each other that both of you are reliable that both of you are enjoying the relationship and that essentially just really you can see this woman looking down at the events and that's you so you know give gratitude for what you have the six of cups of scorpionic energy your person is healing we started with the healing card and so they're going through a transitional period. But what's beautiful is we have the south node coming in. The south node in astrology is karma. Your person is going to be the phoenix rising from the ashes. And they are going to lift themselves out of the energy of being wounded. They've been very cautious with you. They've been very careful with you. They have some fear. I don't see any treachery here whatsoever. I see someone who cares about you very deeply. But let's go ahead and clarify for you. The Seven of Swords is your perception that they could be tricking you. Um, for better or worse, you feel like you're healing from your own wounds too. So tell us about, let's go to the Four of Swords first. Why is the Four of Swords here? What healing energy or what could we tell you to enlighten you? Two of Swords. Okay, so it's really important in terms of the advice is to not bring your old wounds into this relationship. Don't make assumptions that because one person hurt you that another one will. And so often as a professional reader, I hear, but Donna, I told the person how much these other people hurt me and then they hurt me. And the reality is, is that a new person in your life or a new relationship is not somebody that you can you know, say, here are all my wounds and they're now your responsibility. <laughs> now, I don't think that you do that at any kind of a conscious level. You're here because you're enlightened, you're a spiritual creature. But what I'm saying here is that it's very important that you stay neutral. The Two of Swords says, I'm not going to think the worst. I'm not going to think the best. I'm going to stay in this energy of clarity. I'm going to stay in this intellectual energy of... Um, Gemini, well, excuse me, it's a Libra energy. 
that you're going to stay fair and balanced and you're not going to draw any conclusions and you're not going to throw yourself on your bed and eat a pint of ice cream because you feel as though your fears are driving you to feel that this person is cheating or lying or you know that your fear is consuming you because that is not the case that I see. So why do you have so much fear? Because that is a reason, a good reason to be fearful. That seven of swords, a snake and flowers, you know, is not a very pleasant sight because it's a predatory energy. Snakes come and eat, you know, birds, eggs, or whatever. The chariot card, okay. It's moving very quickly is why I'm seeing that you're a little bit concerned. So I would also say that when you are, you're moving very quickly to try to make sure this person isn't predatory, but the, the advice here is to, this is Cancerian energy, to trust your instincts more. You know, Cancerian energy is very intuitive. It's very homebound. Seven of Wands says that it's okay for you to keep your guard up, but don't assume the worst because that's what that's what appears to be happening here. The relationship is moving forward quickly, and for most, I'm going to say masculine energy more than feminine energy. Most masculine energy that I've experienced, at least in my readings with my clients and in my own life, is that masculine energy tends not to open up until they're ready to fully commit up to and including marriage. And I know that seems very odd to, you know, many people, but it's, it's what I witness all the time, whether it's what we want or not. I, I have made that observation. Um, it's not true for everybody, but temperance card. So spirit is saying that you will have a victory to temper your expectations, be very balanced. You know, at the end of the day, you're not going to value this admission of love unless they come forward and do it on their own. And you know that intellectually, emotionally, you know, that's absolutely true. Why do you want the bird's eye view? You're, you know, looks like this energy that when somebody was cold to you before, what happened? nine of coins you stayed single so when people don't talk to you when they hold back you have a tendency to feel like the relationship can't go anywhere the okay interestingly enough this is virgo energy you know you're looking you're seeking wisdom which is what a reading is so i really like this for you i actually like the, it was a great question to ask I can't remember exactly who asked it, but I'm so appreciative when you make suggestions in the comment sections. Uh, it's really helpful to me. Thank you. So Ten of Swords. Why do you have the Ten of Swords? Yeah, the Tower card. Somebody really lambasted you with a very unpleasant truth. What I'm getting here is that you were confronted very suddenly with this person telling you you thought you were having a relationship with a person in the past. You thought you had a victory. You thought things were going to work out. And they suddenly basically turned on you and said, oh, no, 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 no. So that's the why, you know. But let's look at the Ace of Swords. So it's it really is understandable. But the message here is do not let interactions with other people throw a shadow over your emotional well-being. Take the time to do that healing work. Meditate, start a gratitude practice. Understand the person that you're with really loves you. They really love you. So why do we have the Ace of Swords? You have clarity going forward. Within the next six weeks, it looks like you have resolution about why somebody left you, about why you left a situation. I feel actually that you left a situation that was very unhealthy for you and good for you that you did so you know some of the message here is to trust yourself to do the right thing if somebody shows up in a very ugly way in your life if somebody shows up as being nefarious trust yourself because you have the key you will leave you really are not going to allow yourself to put up with that you aren't so trusting yourself that you know that if you feel that moment when that things are not as they seemed that you'll just simply walk away and you'll do it with dignity you'll heal yourself which is what you're doing right now tell us more about this yep
we have the Sun of Pentacles. So you'll just, the advice here is to take it slow and easy. It's Virgo energy, day in, day out. We have Virgo energy here. You know, this is a clarify for, clarifier for your clarity. <laughs> That's a little redundant. But what we're seeing here is be practical, be grounded, be down to earth, move slowly, get take time to get to know people. Uh, it's really better because if you try to rush a relationship, you you know and and I will I'm going to say something else right now I'm going to stop right here I want to tell you that the thing that I most often see in relationships that are catastrophic are when women and I would say, I'm going to say feminine okay but what I witness a lot is that very big Don Juan types very rogue types of archetypical masculine energy will come in, they'll love bomb you, they'll convince you that, you know, they'll get, bring all these flowers and they'll be flowery and they'll say things way too early about, I think you're my soulmate or I think I want to marry you. And then they disappear in three months. And so the lesson to be learned is that attention is not affection. And that if if attend if somebody wants to take something from you unfairly, they're going to dress it out in a beautiful package. So I would actually caution people that if somebody opens up too early, that it actually can be a very bad sign um, because it can be quite manipulative. And the worst the worst love stories that I've ever heard where I've tried and worked to help people pick up the pieces were with that player energy where they come in, they steal your heart, they do it with great dishonor, a great sense of larceny, theft, stealing, and then you're left to pick up the pieces yourself. So advice says, take it easy, take it slow, be practical, be down to earth in whatever you do. Attention is not the same as affection, but attention can be mistaken for affection. Okay, so we have this beautiful magician card here. We have the six of swords energy. So you are healing, both of you are healing, both of you are in a good place, both of you are very happy, you're very grounded, you're moving forward. The two of coins says that both of you are in the energy of making new life decisions. You're on the precipice of a new beginning in terms of, you know, I feel like your partner might have been juggled also, but you're making a decision. You haven't made it quite yet, but you're starting anew. You're starting in a very grounded energy. You don't know what direction it's going to go in yet. And we get the energy that you, this new beginning is coming about after having been left in the cold, after having gone through all of this energy. The healing is bringing strength. So your advice for each of you to open up and for your person to open up is they have to finish healing. And that takes time. The Four of Coins says that we have the Daughter of Swords, so the Page of Swords speaks to the fact that your person's very well aware, they are healing, they are keeping their defenses up a little bit, but they are holding on to you. You know, that's good energy. Your person has some clarity of their own too. And the sun card, there we go, yay! I would have to say they will tell you. In due time, this person knows that you're the one for them. They will tell you, they will share that energy. The sun energy is the happiest card in the deck. It's reversed, it just means it takes a little bit longer than what you hope that it takes, okay? I'm seeing that this person will open up to you. I feel the number 19 reversed is probably at about 20 weeks out. So that's four to five months. It looks like they really open up. They open up and they tell you everything. <laughs> the Ten of Coins. What does this person want with you? They want legacy love with you. They want marriage with you. They want stability. We have the Strength card in Virgo Energy. Again, you're both very practical. You're both very loving. You're, you're going to go the distance here. The Six of Cups is both of you are reminding each other and you could have known each other from long ago this is a soulmate card so this may be somebody that you knew for a lot of years and then you you know they contacted you or you contacted them on facebook or social media eight of wands oh very beautiful passionate love lots of communication moving forward very quickly once you come together in this um in this healed 
energy that the two of you are experiencing. So that's what I have for you in terms of the advice. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Let me know where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye.